Welcome back to Road Trip York County. I'm Brianna Francis, and today we are taking you back in history to 1961, when 10 Friendship College students would walk right here to McCrory's Diner, knowing they'd be arrested for even attempting to sit and eat at the lunch counter. What they didn't realize is that their sacrifice would create a national movement. These metal chairs hold more than their fair share of history. They hold a pivotal piece of the civil rights movement. Lockhead was separate. They had uh, places that you could go, black people, and uh, places that you couldn't go. The year was 1960, and African Americans were fighting for change across the Southeast. A bus boycott and previous demonstrations in Rock Hill all led to a group of freshmen at Friendship College training for something that hadn't been tried before. And the NAACP and other organizations, they were doling out $100 bills every time somebody get arrested. That was a lot of money. So with this idea, it was a reverse of that. Ten Friendship College students would go into McCrory's Diner on January 31st, 1961, getting arrested before they could even sit down. But instead of paying the immediate bail to go back home, nine of them sat in jail for 30 days, forcing the financial burden back on those who had arrested them. After we got arrested and, and that man slammed that jail door on me, it really hit home. You hear them keys rallying. Their efforts would start the Jail No Bail initiative across the Southeast as demonstrations for their arrest continued in the streets of Rock Hill, thanks to groups like the City Girls. We marched and we didn't have no hostility about anything. We would call names. We walked right past. Their efforts are now recognized through this historic marker at the diner's location and the Freedom Walkway honoring these everyday justice seekers through telling the history. What is it like for you guys to be able to see this wall now and see this walkway now? I like it. Make me feel like I did something. <laughs> and we did. That's why they hope you'll visit these stops along history's path in Rock Hill, pieces that lay a path for our future. Because it's about more than us. There's other people that made significant accomplishments along this road, you know, black and white. So it's important that they get to see the other peoples and, and make sure that they know about the history of Rock Hill.